This lesson will cover lines, line segments, and rays. First, let's define what a line is. A line is a straight path that goes in two directions without ending. And you can see here that it's shown with this arrow on each end that shows that it goes on and on without ending. You would read this as line AB and you would write it like this with AB and the arrow on each end. Next, let's define what a ray is. A ray has one end point, which you can see is right here, and it goes on forever in only one direction, and that's what this arrow means. We would read this as ray CD, and we would write it like this, the end point over the C, just like it is here, and the arrow over the D, just like it is here. And last, we want to talk about line segments. A line segment has two end points. So you can see it stops here at E and it stops here at F. You call this line segment EF and you write it like this, EF with the end points on both ends of the segment. Okay. You'll need a piece of paper now and I want you to go ahead and pause and number it 1 to 13 because we're going to practice some of these. So go ahead and pause, number 1 to 13, and then come back. All right, here's number 1. I want you to identify whether this is a line, a ray, or a line segment. And I'm going to go ahead and name these AB. So first of all, what is it? I hope you said it was a line segment. And I would write it like this, A, B. Okay, here's number two. Is this a line, array, or a line segment? Well, I see two arrows. So that tells me it is a line. And how do you write it? just like this. Okay, go ahead and look at this one. This is number three. I want you to pause and identify whether it's a line, array, or a line segment, and then write it correctly. Okay, I can see that this is a ray because it has an endpoint on one end and it goes on forever in the other. And I would write this by making a ray here, and I will identify the E under where the point is, and the F under the arrow because that's the direction it goes on forever. How'd you do on this one? Okay, try this one now. Pause the video and come back when you're ready. Okay, I can see that it has an arrow on each end, meaning it's going on forever in both directions, and so this is line GH. Number five for you. Pause, come back when you're ready. All right, I hope you said that this one was a ray and you drew it like this. The end point being under the I and the J where it goes on forever. And now one more to try, number six. Okay, I hope you see that this has an end point at K and an endpoint at L. So this one is line segment KL. Okay, let's talk about parallel lines now. Parallel lines are lines that never cross or become further apart or closer together from each other. So here's an example. I have line JK and I have line LM. And you can see that they are never going to cross or get any closer or farther apart from each other. We would read this as line JK is parallel to line M. And I would show that here with JK, whoops, it looks like we're missing a line, is parallel to line LM. Now in, in this example, we have intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are lines that do cross each other. 
So you can see that line OP, I'm just kind of underlining it here, will cross right here, line QR. So these two lines are said to intersect, and you would write it like this, line OP intersects line QR. Okay, and now we're going to talk a little bit about perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines also intersect, but they do so in a very unique way. They cross or meet each other to form square corners, which is a 90 degree angle, also called a right angle. And you can see that we write that like this with this little part of a box right here that shows the right angle. And you would read this as line ST, see it right here, line ST, is perpendicular to line UV. And that is written like this. You can see line ST and line UV, and the perpendicular sign is this little upside down T that proves that they cross at a right angle. Okay, we're going back to our little uh, quiz that you're doing there. So now you're up to number seven. This time you're going to say whether they are parallel, perpendicular, or intersecting. And by intersecting, I mean that they are crossing, but not at a right angle, which would mean it was a perpendicular line. So go ahead, pause here, come back, and let me know whether you believe these are parallel, perpendicular, or intersecting, and also how you would write that. Okay, I hope you wrote line MN. You see I have my arrows on both ends. And line QR are parallel. Okay, same thing for number eight. Pause, come back when you're ready. All right, I hope you see that line CD and line YZ are not going to ever cross. They are also parallel. Okay, you're ready for number nine? Pause and let me know, and then come back to check. Okay, I hope you said that line QR and line UV intersect. So we'll put intersect. And here's number 10. Pause and come back. Okay, I hope that you said that line DE and line ST are perpendicular. I see this right angle right there. Here's a couple more. Number 11 now. Pause and stop and then come back. And you can see WX and FG are never going to cross because they are parallel. And now number 12. Look at it carefully. Okay, if you're back, we have line HI and line JK. And I don't see that there is a right angle because it would be marked if there were. So these two intersect. And now your last one. Pause and come back and be careful with this one. Okay, we have line AB and we have ray. C, D. Hope you cut that. And I see that there is a right angle right here. So I'm going to say that line AB is perpendicular to ray CD. Did you get that one? All right, line expert. Now it's time for you to go to the quiz. Go ahead and make sure that you bring these notes with you tomorrow, and we'll discuss anything that you have questions about in class.